So here, once again, we are at the speed of the waves, okay, or the stretch wire is given by this equation. If you cannot see the equation because the term is very small, I write, I write for you, okay? V is equal to T P, not toilet paper, but ten T to the power of P, and mu to the power of Q. All right, so what's T? Question will always tell you what, don't worry. T is tension in the wire. So for those of you who may or may not know this, tension is a type of force. No tension is a type of force. And because it's a type of force, the base SI unit is the same base SI unit for force. Okay, so mu is this mass per unit length. Teacher, why mass per unit length? Now it's not, chapter one is not really the time to ask why the equation like that. Although that is a very good question, please keep keep in a box, precious box, and ask in other chapters, okay? But here, mu is mass per unit length. Just follow the question because what are we testing or what are we evaluating or what are we learning now? Not so much as how can my sword fight the monster, but how to use the sword. So not so much as why is mu that way, but how do I use my new skill to derive base units to cross-check equation or to come up with power. So normally, right, when scientists do or they, they, they observe a phenomena, they will be thinking to themselves, hmm, I see the speed on this string or this wire, like the guitar wire, the guitar wire, okay? And I feel that the speed or the pitch of the sound depends on how tightly I tighten the wire, fretboard, and how thick the wire is. So how tight is the wire tightened or how thick is the string? So those of you who play guitars or have seen a guitar before, you will know what I mean. You can adjust the tension in the guitar wire on the fretboard, you know, the part, the, the knobs there that you can turn. I don't have a guitar. Miss Ellie has a guitar. Okay. So if you change the tension, maybe the speed will change because I hear different sound, different pitch. If I have a thicker wire, the sound also sounds different. So maybe because of this, the speed of the waves are different. I don't know. I'm just guessing. But you see, uh, when we guess something, we can guess, but the unit must be the same. All. So then the scientists look at this and I'm like, I wonder what P and Q is. Is it power one, power two, power half? You see, there's a lot of half on the tables at the side. So this is why we do dimensional or unit analysis to help us decide what power the physical quantity should be. Okay, so we use to verify and to decide. So in this case, um, I'm just going to list down the base SI unit. So step one, what are the base SI units? I'm going to start from the left hand side, V. Velocity, speed, meter per second. So whatever T mu is, uh, it has to be meter per second, okay? All right, so now I'm going to continue with right-hand side. Okay, I'm going to write here, RHS. So you have tension to the power of P and mu to the power of Q. Tension is force. So I'm going to change it directly to base SI unit. Huh? Quick reminder, F is equal to MA. So I will use kg meter negative meter per second square. Okay. Power P. So this is T. This whole thing is T. Okay. What is mu? Mu is mass per unit length. So I'm going to plug mu in, mu here, this mu, mu, kg mass per unit length, meter. Okay, so this one is mass over length, which is kg meter negative one or kg per meter. And then you will notice something um quite interesting. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where's my Q? Q went for a walk. Q is here. Okay. So the first thing I do is I don't panic first. I know whatever that's on the left must be must work out the same here. So whatever we do to these two terms, when I multiply them, I should get back meter per second. 
Teacher, impossible. You see, got KG. You see, got KG. Okay, you, you chill first. Chill. Whenever we see the same term, what do we do? Ah? Okay, so sidebar. If let's say I have AB to the power of P multiplied by A over C to the power of Q. How do we simplify this? You can treat P and Q and your units like algebra. Okay, so you see the A here, you see the A here, you do a gathering of A's, right? Put all the A together. And then how do we combine the prefix? Multiply is P plus Q. If like that also cannot, don't worry. We can always go back to basics. We can go AB square times A over C power 4. So A power 2 times A power 4 will be equal to A power 6. Because 6 is 2 plus 4. Okay? So in this case, this is your A. And then I will add P plus Q. Can I? Okay. So from here, I can go back to the same thing. My common term is kg. So kg, come out please. Bracket. P, kg power P times kg power Q is kg. P plus Q. A power P times A power Q is A P plus Q. Cannot. A power 2 times A power 4 is A power 6. Okay, so it's okay to break things down until your brain get used to it. Alright, so we have KG P plus Q. Then your teacher, teacher. Nani, where got KG? Where, where, where? No KG. Okay, never mind. If there's no KG, means power what? Power 0. So, on this side, I can actually write this unit as kg power 0 meter second negative 1. And you're like, teacher, can me kg power 0 le? Anything power 0 is 1. A power 0 is 1. Anything power 0 is 1. You, you, you go check your calculator. La, okay. So, this means if I compare them, what will I have? The first clue or first hint I have is... Uh, this P plus Q, if you look at this prefix here, P plus Q, it must be zero. So P plus Q must be equal to zero. Now you look at this MCQ, which P and Q is zero one? A is wrong, Leo, lo. negative half, negative half, where got zero? Half, half, where got zero? Wrong. You are left with two. It's either P is negative half or Q is negative half. But don't forget, we got another term we haven't checked yet. Okay, we still have M and we still have S. I am now going to check M. Okay, and to make my life a bit easy, I'm gonna change the example a bit. Okay, I'll put B here and I'll put B here. What to do with B? Yeah? Right now, your B is B to the power of P multiplied 1 over B to the power of Q. So this multiply 1 over is divided, you're right, divided by B or B power Q. Or you could say negative teacher, I call it negative. So here you will multiply B, let's put B, okay? And then because of the 1 over, this will be P minus Q. All right, just doing a bit of algebra sidetrack for you. Okay, so here, if you cannot, then it's b square over b power 4. Ma. You see this? So isn't this, um, you know, a to the power of 6 times b to the power of 2 minus 4? Okay, so divide is minus p minus q. So in that case, right, I can now do a quick gathering for meter. There's meter here. There's also meter here. Put them together. Meter p minus q let's check on it p minus q if i look at it change color you see it's p minus q you see it's m we compare the indices m to the power of 1 must be equal to m to the power of p minus q so you can say 1 is equal to p minus q okay okay we can check let's check the first one Negative half, 
minus negative half, I get one meh. No. So this is out. Because negative half minus negative half, I get negative one. So cannot lah. And then for C, half minus negative half, I get one. Don't say C. Okay, let me write it down for you. Okay, so I created a bit more space so you can check if you need it. If not, you can move on to the next video. P plus Q here is zero. So P plus Q here is not zero. It's negative one. This is zero, this is zero, this is one. Which is why we eliminate this and we eliminated this. Okay, P minus Q is one. In this case, P minus Q is negative one. This is out already, law. Okay, this one, P minus Q is negative half. Actually, I don't have to test these two already. Negative half minus half. Nah, minus half is negative one. So this is out. And for this one, half minus negative half, this is one. So the answer is C. Okay, so yes, physics is very maths intensive now. So you got to ready your brain because step by step, working may not be here for long.